Howdy howdy guys and welcome back to another Sims 4 speed build. I hope your year has started off wonderfully. I have been gone for a few days because I have been building this. It is such a big house and as a result this is kind of a long video for me. I haven't cr made a video that is this long yet and I didn't intend for it to be this long but here we are. I never build mansions but one of my viewers requested or suggested that I build a Barbie family dream mansion. I don't know how quite on the head that I nailed this. I wanted to do a modern build just to kind of mix it up a little bit. I was feeling, you know, like building something more modern, try to get away from all of the farmhouse stuff I've been building. This is the style home that I used to build all the time when I first started playing Sims 4 and back all the time when I played Sims 3 and what I tried to do in Sims 4. So getting back into this was very difficult you will see that I struggle a lot um, with figuring out the floor plan and stuff for some of this. I actually had to go and draw it all out on graph paper so I can figure out, you know, what I wanted because my brain was just not wrapping around the whole modern layout, you know? So I had to go and fiddle around with it on graph paper for a while. So that took me way longer than I ever expected it to. But yeah, this is where I have been the last few days, not making any other videos is just focusing solely on this and I do like how it came out I don't know if I could really call it a Barbie you know a house or anything I mean it is pink you'll see as we get further into the video that it is pink I wish I had more of like that rich pink color I didn't want to use the fuchsia uh, color because it just felt I don't know I didn't I didn't like it personally it kind of felt overwhelming this ends up being such a cool house and I think if you wanted to take it and get rid of all the pink and throw in some different colors onto it and make it not so I don't know I guess Barbie like I did try to make it very Barbie as much as I could possibly in terms of like decorating and stuff but yeah I haven't played with anything or seen anything Barbie since I was you know very small when I was looking up stuff on the internet about Barbie, I noticed that she has some like new house and stuff. I was almost tempted to build this mid-century uh, modern type home that she apparently has in one of her shows now. But it did kind of influence, you know, this. I was like, well, if Barbie can have a mid-century modern house, why can't she have a very stark modern mansion? <laughs> you know, so that was like kind of my um a thought process on this whole entire thing And that is how we ended up here But yeah, I do take you know suggestions and stuff if you want to drop a suggestion down in the comments or Throw me a floor plan on Twitter or on Instagram or anything You know, I'll be sure to link all those down below so you can go and throw me suggestions of stuff that you want to see built I like to bring floor plans to life, which is a lot of fun. I like to see just how like I don't know a floor plan would look in the sims especially if I don't see what the actual house looks like so I just kind of build from the floor plan and I'm like oh well let's see what this would look like you know let's see what sort of style home this turns out to be but no I really do like that sort of stuff and I am totally open to suggestions uh I probably won't do another mansion for a while because this was um this was very exhausting to do you know after a while and it was fun like don't get me wrong I had a lot of fun with this it was very different from what I normally do especially now which is just tiny little farm homes and stuff which I love to do of course um but this was very very different and my game did not like it toward the end my game kept pausing okay it kept like freezing and I was like oh my gosh is it gonna crash and I had a few times where I thought it was going to and I was like oh no I I didn't save any of this and I've done almost a whole entire floor you know I was oh my gosh yeah I don't I don't think I can handle the stress that is building another mansion right now but I do want to go back in the future and maybe make a more uh traditional Barbie mansion type deal you know I'll save that for the future I don't know whenever I'm feeling up to making another enormous house but yeah I am totally down for suggestions of like other modern homes or um 
you know, farm homes and stuff like that. Like, what do you guys want to see? Show me. I love to build. I just want to build everything, you know. I have a few ideas for, like, other videos that I want to do. I just haven't gotten around to doing them yet. I have been so busy since the New Year started. I'm trying to get a head start on my New Year's resolution. It's just been, it's been so crazy for me. <laughs> I just haven't had time and I'm like, I'm trying to enjoy this book that I got and the games that I got and I'm just, oh my gosh, it's just, it's a lot right now. It's a lot and I just, my brain cannot focus solely on one thing right now. I was like, oh my gosh, you know, I have so much that I want to do. I have so much that I have to do and there is just not enough time in the day or week to do it all. Anyways, I got this mansion done and I am really happy with how the shape of it, you know, ends up turning out. I love all the windows. The natural light that comes in off of this lot is absolutely gorgeous and you'll see that in the screenshots later the lighting is just so good and i love these windows too i i don't remember ever using these windows in the past but i like the lines on them i thought it added you know just a little bit more detail to the outside and the inside and stuff yeah i do end up keeping all of the windows and doors black i didn't really intend to i was just kind of like a uh, placeholder color i was using but it ended up sticking and i really do like it <laughs> Here we go, messing with the floor plan. You're gonna see me like go back and forth looking at the first floor like, should I start furnishing this now? Because I am scared of what to do with this with this floor plan on the second floor because I didn't plan out the second floor floor plan. I just kind of worked around, you know, um, what I had for the first floor and then, you know, wherever I place the overhangs and the roof and stuff. Yeah, I did not want to work on the second floor. I am so bad at planning out second floors, so I tend not to make two-story homes. They're kind of scary. They're scary for me, you guys. <laughs> I am intimidated by two-story homes. And I've never really lived in a two-story home before, so maybe, maybe that's why. Just, I don't know. I don't personally... Um, have that much fun <laughs> with them. <laughs> I try. I do try my best. And I think I got the hang of it, you know, do with my little farmhouse builds. But, um, no. This was just a totally different animal. And I was like, oh my gosh. I really wanted to fit in my, you know, signature little open to below loft space. <laughs> but I couldn't make it work in this build, unfortunately. Because I needed the space for the kids' rooms. And Barbie's room, of course. Okay, so there is let me try to remember how many how many rooms this is we have a guest suite on the on the first floor we have a teen bedroom that has a double bed in it and has their own ensuite bathroom which is very fancy <laughs> um then we have a toddler and baby room like the toddlers and the newborn baby will share a room and then we have another room for i guess two kids or maybe two other teens and then we have barbie's room okay so that's five rooms and i think there are six bathrooms because there's the ensuite in the teen room there is a bathroom at the at the end of the hallway where all the kids rooms are barbie of course has an ensuite the master suite of course has an ensuite and yeah there's another bathroom on the first floor that connects to the gym and sauna that i put outside oh my gosh this house is just so much fun it was a pain and a nightmare to plan out but building it was a whole lot of fun and it was such a nice break from what i normally build here on this channel it was very nice i do want to go and build another modern home i'm not building another modern mansion right now but i do want to build a modern home that is smaller you know nothing nearly as big i think i'm good with the big builds for now this this was my fill okay i'm good i'm good with uh mansions for right now i don't even know if this is just like i don't even know if you could really call this a mansion it does have a gazillion rooms but i don't know is it is it very mansiony to you guys to me it just seems like an oversized uh modern home <laughs> i had such a hard time furnishing it too I just, I struggle with such big spaces for some reason. And maybe that's something I could work on in the new year. And actually, while we're talking about the new year, 
What is your guys' New Year's resolution? I would love to know. I like to see what other people are planning to achieve in the new year. And if you don't want to show, you know, that's fine. I am working on getting my driver's license finally. I'm finally going to kick myself in the butt to actually get it. So here's hoping that I can, you know, work toward that. I am getting an instructor, hopefully, to, you know, help me out with all of that. I have major test anxiety. So it's not that I don't know how to drive. Um, It's that on the test, I am very nervous. Like, even in school and stuff, you know, I was like... I would forget how to add when I was handed a test or I would forget, you know, what a word means or something like that or forget what I just read and so I'd have to sit there and like read it a few times. Yeah, testing is just absolutely horrible. Any testing, any sort of test, you know, it's it's terrible. But I have been able to get used to testing and comfortable with testing uh, by listening to music. And music is so good for me. I love music so much. So I would just listen to music. But unfortunately, uh, when you go to take your road test to get your license, you can't listen to music. So it's like, oh my gosh, what do I do? I just got this guy sitting next to me writing stuff down on a clipboard. And I'm losing my absolute mind. I am like, oh my gosh, what am I doing? You know, I'm just, I am thinking way too much about it. And I am freaking out. And I am forgetting how to do one thing. And oh my gosh, I forgot to... um put my truck in reverse to pull out of a parking spot so I almost went right into the bushes during the test one time and it's okay because I don't step on the gas you know so hard immediately when I'm pulling out of you know a parking space or anything so I didn't I, all I did was like I moved like maybe half an inch and I was like oh that is actually a drive I need to uh put my truck in reverse come on now Mino we got this we know you got this yeah I don't know I've just had such a hard time getting my license but I am going to get it this year and I am confident I am going to get it and I will not be afraid because my instructor is hopefully going to to teach me how to best handle test anxiety because um apparently they specialize in cases like that so I'm just like I'm kind of excited and I'm kind of nervous you know a little bit I will be so happy um to have my license finally because I have a car and um I do drive it but I can't drive it by myself unfortunately so I'm just I am so happy that I'm finally actually kicking myself in the butt to do this. But anyways, enough about me and my resolutions. Tell me your resolutions in the comments below if you would like to. Let's talk about this house because um, look at this pink. I don't actually stick with this pink. Um, I do find a much more coral pink that I do end up using later. Um, I, I cut out a lot of stuff so you'll see me going back and forth, you know, jumping around and like sudden cuts here and there just because I was so in decisive in what I wanted for this and I was like well what would Barbie have what would Barbie have in her house and maybe this is kind of a little bit more cluttered than what would be considered a modern home I did want to do more minimalist but I also just wanted to include as much I don't know Barbie themed decorations as I could so yeah there's a bit of you know stuff everywhere and I am just there's just so much stuff there is there is so much but I hope you guys like how this turned out and if you guys do play in it um you know let me know how it goes for you I have tested this house everything works in it just fine it's a lovely house uh, I do kind of want to play in it maybe I would take away the pink pink is not personally my favorite color um but I'm not, I, it's not like I dislike pink either, no. I'm, I feel very indifferent about pink. It's, you know, it's just, it's just kind of there. But I will say it was very, it was very nice to use because there are some really good pink swatches in this game. Like there are some that are like really pretty. Like the stools that I used at the kitchen island. Those are really pretty. Or Dream Home Decorator. Okay, they just have a really nice pink color. I think it's like a blush pink color. It's so pretty. Oh my gosh, I just, I love it so much. And I love getting it to use it here. I used it in a in the sitting room for the accent chair uh, to contrast with the white you know uh, sectional sofa I was going to make that the living room originally but I was like no maybe it'd be nice just to have a super chill little you know sitting space you know I mean like what do people put in mansions 
they're so big right <laughs> i mean i was just like we'll just put sitting areas you know kind of everywhere maybe because i don't know what else you would put in a mansion and i didn't want it to look so bare you know anyways look at this adorable little entryway that we're working on right now this little divider thing i don't often find it in the build catalog because i guess i just don't really build anything that it would suit but i was like oh my gosh i have to use this somewhere because i love the gold swatch so much i just want to like reach in and touch it you know so i thought maybe it would be cute to put by the entryway as a sort of little divider dividing you know the kitchen from the rest of the house or the entryway from the rest of the house and just to you know just to provide that little bit of division here is that little sitting room i was talking about this little formal seating area maybe barbie comes down and like talks with her friends and stuff or the kids can come and chill down here or something i don't know i also really liked um putting that mirror inside of like the bookshelf like that I thought it was uh, I thought it was a cute idea and um, I know I leave that like a basket of blankets or linens or whatever is in that basket there on the shelf I do go back and I delete it and I also fix that little plant I put on the uh, shrunken table back there because um I forgot that it would be floating so I fix all of that so in the in the official download none of that stuff is you know left you know like this i'm so sorry i can't believe i forgot it i just kind of left it like that i don't know how i did that when i say i was overwhelmed um by this build i was overwhelmed like you'll see me like make you know little mistakes here and there that i do fix either in the video or later and i also wanted to give barbie and her little family a pet because i don't know whenever i think of barbie i think of you know uh all of the pets that she's had probably like the cats and the dogs and stuff uh i used to play barbie horse adventures on the game boy advance and the playstation 2 i think very much a lot of fun i actually in a way revisited um barbie horse adventures on the playstation 2 and oh my goodness i don't know how i played that i don't understand how i played that when i was so little but i loved it so much i got such a kick out of it i kind of miss it you know i wish there were um more horse games um i was the crazy horse person in school i still am the uh, kind of crazy horse person i don't have a horse um no i just i love horses i have a passion for horses so of course i was going to play uh barbie horse adventures on the Game Boy Advance and the PlayStation 2. I also uh, played Let's Ride um, Silver Star Stable or something like that. Star Stable or, or something like that. Oh, what? I had, I played a lot of um, horse games now that I'm just kind of remembering them. On the DS, on the computer. Yeah, I just, I loved all of these horse games. I love them all so much. So yes, of course Red Dead Redemption 2 is going to be up there with some of my favorite games because the horses in that game are absolutely fantastic if not just a little dumb sometimes of course i'm going to love that game so much anyways here we are working on the actual living room it's very simple i kept it very simple very plain you know it's just a place that you sit down and watch tv and hang out and chill it's a cute little tiny living room i for a mansion i probably should have made it you know bigger um i i feel bad that i didn't i i don't know why i mean i had all of this space on this massive lot i kicked the land grabs out i bulldozed their house and i was like yeah i'm only going to use up a portion of the lot that i stole from you but it's fine because it's cute <laughs> It's a pretty house. <laughs> but here is the master suite now. Um, it's just got like an ensuite bathroom and stuff. On the second floor, I also put like a skill building type room for the kids and, you know, your adult sims to use at will. But that could probably also be turned into another room. I believe that this house could be easily, you know, converted into whatever you want it to be or whatever you need it to be. But I I'm not sure how happy I am with, um, this guest room area because I really wanted to use green. I love the green swatches that come with Dream Home Decorator, but um, I, I guess I just struggled to make it all fit together how I wanted. <laughs> and that wood, that wall doesn't stay wood. I end up swapping uh, the accent walls just to make them, I don't know, I guess it looked better to me. But I, I think I really just disliked all of the white in the room but I didn't know what color to use I guess to make it 
better or make it fit together. I really, I just was not happy with this room. I wish, I think I could have done better. I probably should have gone back and done, you know, a better job of it or redone it or something. But I think it, it looks a little bit better now than what we started with at least. And I like the idea of the walk-in or the walk-through closet to get to the bathroom. I also did that in... Barbie's room you know I just I like that idea so much and I've never built a house you know large enough for that to be a thing so I was happy that I was finally able to put it in this house and of course what better house to put it in than you know Barbie's little modern mansion or I guess not so little modern mansion because this place is huge I also forget about um the shelf from uh oh gosh what is it called um the blooming rooms kit i forget about that shelf so much i feel like it shouldn't be under shelves why is it under shelves can you slot things onto it i really think it should be in wall decor unless it is in wall decor and i've just um never uh seen it i mean i've used it a few times but i don't think i've ever seen it in wall decor or anything <laughs> i just i love it so much it's such a pretty piece i think it's up there with some of my favorite pieces from the blooming rooms kit and i'm so sad that i forget about it so much because it comes in a lot of great colors you know it's very colorful but it has a lot of good wooden swatches too but here is the teens room that i made i really liked it i really like the colors in this room it's very cute i really wanted to use the rounded sofa uh there in this room but it didn't fit i was afraid that the routing would get all you know messed up if i put it if i just tried to like squeeze it in there so it's like no we'll just put a little uh, we'll just make it a chair and this thing that i do with the mirrors is kind of like my favorite thing right now i take the little are those that get to work mirrors or are they the base game mirrors i can't remember but they're the tiny little square mirrors and i like to offset them just a little bit so they kind of like make i don't know just kind of a little pattern and that's just kind of my favorite thing to do now i am um, i did do a season starter build that i actually have to go and edit and voice over so maybe that'll be up sometime this week i hope i just i need to get back into the swing of um posting uh to youtube i'm kind of behind right now and i have like all these other builds that i want to do maybe i'll just go back and um gather some builds up and then do them all at once you know i just i have a lot of builds in mind that i want to do and i want to build so much i want to build with season so bad but i'm not sure i don't know how i how i like the house um that i built for see for the seasons pack but you guys will see it maybe if i do decide to upload it so we're just putting in another little desk area up here on the second floor i think there's like a total of three computers uh, in this whole entire house like it's just so everybody has a computer actually the computer downstairs is so funny it's like the it's the unlockable uh, little golden laptop i think that comes with uh i can't remember if it's base game or if it's you unlock it with dream home decorator or something i just i cannot remember for the life of me but it is so funny because it is so barbie it's gold and i guess between the keys is like a hot pink color with like a fake leopard print and stuff and it's just it's so funny i was like oh my gosh that, that has to be so barbie right but look at this little toddler room of course i had to make it in yellow and orange and white because that is just one of my favorite color combos ever of all time well n probably not ever of all time i mean i i can't pick my favorite my ultimate favorite color combo because i love them so much i love white and gold and i love black and gold and i love yellow white and orange so much you know i just those are those are my favorite color combos and do not ever make me choose which one is my favorite because i will just not be able to i will not be able to oh do you guys have a favorite color combo i like i like to know because it gives me some ideas to you know try and test out when decorating a room because as you can see i do default to yellow like you'll see especially in the next room that we work on i'm like well let me just make it black white and yellow i I mean, no. Um, I end up cutting a lot of it out because I really did go far with the black, white, and yellow scheme. Um, and I was like, no, I can't do that again. So I did blue instead. And even though I know it's blue, but um, I imagine that this room can be for any gendered sim. You know, I like to keep my rooms very gender neutral as possible. You know, I don't believe in like, you know colors belong to a certain gender or anything no 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 so this room can be for any sim that you want a teen a child maybe it's a teen and a child i don't know why the other teen would get you know more um 
priority and have their own room with a double bed. But maybe that's, you know, a working storyline or something. It was so easy to, to almost go overboard with the blue in this room because the blue swatches in this game really are absolutely beautiful. And I was just getting so carried away with the blue. Like all of the furniture in this room is almost all blue. And so I threw in like a black a black and white chair and a black rug to just kind of tie in the walls and the curtains and the window frames and yet yeah, the bad thing about using platforms as a roof is that when you try to free place something in a corner and it's too close to the flat platform it kind of like um pops up and that is super annoying so uh, I didn't end up putting anything in that corner so I just put in like a little uh science station thing there just for a little bit of fun you know um I don't know I like to imagine that one of the sims that would probably live in there is probably into the science stuff you know maybe they want to be a mad scientist when they grow up and the other one is more of a uh, musical type sim a virtuoso perhaps you know and they like they want to be in a band when they get older it could be fun i don't know uh i do like to make little stories for these houses i mean even though it's it's supposed to be a barbie mansion but i don't think you have to make barbie to go and play in this house i mean of course not if you have a sim that really likes pink and has a family or is wanting to start a family or something this is a really good house like i mean i even like the pink in some of these rooms I really love the pink, the, the like that dusty blushy pink on the on some of the furniture. It's just it's so cute. Now we're going on to uh, Barbie's room. Oh my gosh, Barbie's room took me a while or this otherwise pink room. I really hate to call it, you know, Barbie because it doesn't, I don't know. Do you guys think it looks like a Barbie house or just like that it's a big old pink house? Because I will in the future, um, when I'm feeling recharged after this mansion, I will go and make, you know, more of a Barbie themed type mansion. I don't want to go and like rebuild like one of her dream homes or anything because people have done it a lot and they've done it so much better than I think I would ever be capable of um doing you know myself I'm just gonna go and do my take on Barbie's mansion but look at this I managed to fit in a curved couch somewhere and I'm so happy because it really does look super cute in that corner there uh, I'm trying to figure out where I could put some mirrors because I didn't want to get rid of the couch but I really like the couch there and I wanted to put some mirrors somewhere maybe this dresser too does doesn't fit the space but I kind of like it like it's ma maybe like it's Barbie's little rock star corner or something because that really does look like a little rock star type um dresser I know it's like flowers and stuff but I don't know it looks like a little rock star dresser to me for some reason and with the star mirror there I love that star mirror I always look for an excuse to put that star mirror somewhere but we're about to get into the screenshots now and I am going to leave you guys with these
Anyways, you guys, I just wanted to thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video today. I hope you liked watching this little modern Barbie mansion come to life. If you liked it, my gallery ID is in the description down below so you can go and get it off the gallery. I'm gonna get it going now. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day and a happy new year, and I will see you in the next one.